Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a curiology haul. I did go to edit this video a few days ago and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen in my story that I completely like lost the footage of that video and I still don't have any idea how I did because I recorded it along with like the photos for the thumbnail photo and the try-ons of the items that I bought and I went to edit it I had all the photos I had both of the try-ons and I also did a sourpuss haul like the same day and because of the battery I had to swap it like three times so I had three videos all for the sourpuss one and I was going through them and I was like where's my curiology haul so I don't have any idea what happened to that and I was quite happy with how that video went so I will try and remember everything that I've said in that it is like a week later maybe I have just been at university and as you can probably tell the lighting is a little bit dark because I've basically got about half an hour of light left <laughs> but I really wanted to film this because I need to get it out in October so if you did like any of the items you have a chance to buy them before they sell out of the Halloween collection basically so if you like this type of video please consider subscribing and I will get into the haul now I haven't actually ordered from Curiology before and before I get into the haul as like a small business owner and like if you have followed me for a while then you'll know that I run my own shop called Simply Gothic and I sell acrylic jewellery and that's what kind of curiology do but they're like at a much higher standard <laughs> like they've got 108,000 yeah 108,000 followers on Instagram or something so they're like top of the top and when I first started my jewellery business there was one company in particular and I'm not going to say who they are and it's not curiology or anything but I'm not going to say the name because all the drama and stuff but basically I looked up to this company so much I loved what they did I followed them on Instagram I bought from them regularly and I just loved like everything they did and they really inspired me to start like my own shop and I remember when I was just starting off and I was quite small I had like probably 50 to 100 followers on Instagram and I was trying to think about what I could you know do in my shop I think I just started making chokers but I remember I emailed this company or it could have just been like a message on Etsy saying hi you know I really like what you do and I'm thinking of starting my own business and stuff and I didn't ask for like you know all their top secrets or anything because you know but I just said like oh do you have any advice you know I've been following you for a really long time kind of like as an admirer slash customer it wasn't like I was gonna like steal their customers or stop ordering for I, I don't know what they thought but basically I got this really rude message back and it completely put me off their shop and it was it was so like blunt and it, as I said it was just so rude and from then on I don't follow that company I don't buy anything from them I remember there was this one necklace that I was gonna buy because I loved it and I was like I just I can't even the jewelry I have I can't wear because when I look at it like that's what I think of and it's really sad actually but that happened and I either had like a really small following on my business account or like I hadn't made one yet I had my like normal one but actually they've blocked me on Instagram ever since so I'm not sure what their problem was so that kind of gave me a really negative look at how companies kind of work with each other like is it all like you know you're my customers I'm, I don't like any other shops you know that kind of vibe that I got but I still you know carried on like trying to build up my business basically because I really did want to do it and later on when I had I think around 100 followers on Instagram I got a really nice message from Curiology and they said something like sending spooky what was it like sending spooky vibes or like wishes or something from one company to another and it was just the sweetest thing because they're like as I said top of the top and I was like super <laughs> low down and for them to like because I didn't message them or anything they just I'm, I'm guessing they kind of found my account and they actually follow me and they do like some of the photos and leave comments sometimes so it's really supportive and I do really look up to them for that because I know that there are companies out there who just kind of hate other companies in that kind of 
realm of competition if that makes sense so i really do look up to curiology for that but obviously as i do own my own shop i have the opportunity to own lots of jewelry and i do own lots of jewelry so i try to limit what i buy to like something that really really stands out and i do love curiology's designs like so so much but i do try and pick things that will go with outfits that i have or outfits that i'm planning saying that they released their halloween collection on the 1st of October and they had like a pre-release which was super exciting and I had a scroll through their website and I did buy two necklaces and I'm super happy with them one of them I've already worn and I love it so I placed an order on the 1st of October so like when they dropped I was like on their website and then it was shipped on the 5th of October which is really good so only like four days and then it arrived on the 8th of October so only seven days from when I actually made the order to when I actually received it so I think that's super super good and it did come in one of these kind of large letter boxes kind of similar to the ones I use for my subscription box and as you can see it was sent by first class signed for so it did get here super quickly and I had to like recreate this because I wanted you to see like how it was when I opened it. <laughs> so when I did open it, it did have this orange tissue paper in and all the items were wrapped up inside the tissue paper to stop them from breaking. And then on top was their business card, which I'll show you now. So it does have their logo on, which is kind of this skull design with antlers. And it does say Curiology underneath that with their website, which is www.curiology.uk. <laughs> and then on the back, it does have, again, their logo, their Facebook, their email, and also this thank you message, which I really do like. I always really like when companies put like handwritten messages before I owned my shop like that's something I always really appreciated so I do really like that they do that and as always I will leave all their like social media their website everything down below with links to the items that I will show you in this haul so that's their business card and everything came wrapped up in the tissue paper then it had like a plastic packaging thing on top and each necklace was kind of put on one of these backing cards which again just has their logo on and the smaller one was just on a smaller card so everything came wrapped super professionally and safely so nothing broke or anything so the first one and this won't come to a surprise to you if you've been following me for quite some time i think nearly a year ago now because i have been doing my channel for a year i did a etsy haul with a plague doctor print and when I found out that they were releasing a Plague Doctor necklace, I was like, I'm gonna need that. <laughs> so as I said, they did do a pre-release and I was scrolling through and basically what they've done is they've teamed up with artists and they've kind of done design. So there's such a variety of stuff on their Halloween collection. And one of them is someone who kind of looks into, I think kind of torture and old fashioned London, like that kind of vibe and medicine or something. And this artist in particular had done a plague doctor drawing and i'm in love with this necklace <laughs> as you can see it's a fairly large necklace and it does have the plague doctor on so he's wearing his cloak the mask obviously and the mask even has like stitching around here it's super super detailed and then this hat and i really like that he's wearing a hat as well <laughs> so that is the design the only thing I would say about this design is it's a bit lighter than I expected so when it catches the light you can't see it as clearly but generally when you wear it I mean you're gonna know it's a plague doctor <laughs> it is printed onto this clear acrylic so on the back it is just clear and it's a super good thickness as well and it has actually been printed onto the acrylic I have received a piece from violet moth which i won in a giveaway and she also prints onto acrylic and i have like no idea how it's done so i'd really like to know like how to print onto acrylic because at the moment i kind of get high quality stickers printed and then i like measure the acrylic and put the sticker on it and so that's what i'm doing at the moment to kind of kind of create my own art to put on acrylic but this has been directly printed on which looks super professional so i'm really loving this 
and it is just connected on with a jump ring and then this goes on to a chain which has a good kind of thickness to it it's not too thick but it does feel quite sturdy and they have used like my favorite clasp i find these the easiest and it's just the lobster clasp and i believe it would sit a kind of roughly where this necklace is so it does sit kind of high up i'm sure if you messaged them and you wanted it a bit longer i'm sure they would do that um but you could also just swap the chain out because the loop is quite big you could buy this necklace either silver plated which is what i picked for this one so the silver plated one is 12 pound 99 and there was also a choice of a black necklace which was the same price or you could get a sterling silver necklace which was 17.99 or 16.99 i believe but i did just go for the silver plated <laughs> just forgot what the name was there so this is called the plague doctor necklace and it's a collaboration kind of between curiology and sylvia de vries i will just show you the name in case i've like said that completely wrong but that's the artist's name there so this one was 12.99 which i feel like is such a good price for the size of this and I will definitely be getting a lot of use out of this and this will probably be featured in kind of one of my wintry outfit of the days because I already know what I'm going to wear with this. And actually I've just like bought some winkle pickers from Depop because they gave me like Plague Doctor vibes from the Gothic Shoe Company and I'm so excited. So this with the boots, oh my gosh. <laughs> is kind of completely different it's very subtle and kind of as i said the exact opposite of what i've just shown you and this one did come in a velvet pouch which i thought was a nice touch and this is called the limited little jack-o-lantern necklace in sterling silver so this one is quite a bit different this one is just by curiology i believe i think the artist ones are mainly the acrylic and this as you can see is a tiny little pumpkin necklace and it is adorable so as you can see the eyes nose and mouth have been actually cut out and there are these engraved ridges which i really liked and then the loop there does go through the stalk of the pumpkin the only thing i would say about this one is the chain is quite fine as you can see know why they've done that because it is a really small pendant and i did wear this to work last saturday and usually when i wear a necklace the chain kind of comes round because maybe it's a bit too heavy but this one the clasp didn't move around at all so i think they did a really good job in balancing like the chain size with the pendant so that doesn't happen the only thing i would say is the clasp isn't my favorite but again i think it's due to the weight so it doesn't move round but it is one of these like loop clasps which i do find a little bit tricky to get open but i mean it's not an issue or anything and the chain itself is actually sterling silver as well so the pendant is sterling silver and also the chain and as you can see on the back of the pumpkin it just has again the cut out eyes nose and mouth but no ridges and if the camera focuses <laughs> it does have 925 printed kind of just below the stalk i'm not sure if you can see that so hopefully you saw that but it does say 925 for sterling silver as well as the chain so as i said i have worn this i really really like it i think it's really really cute not jewelry i'd usually go for actually i really kind of like big chunky necklaces i'm just kind of used to that i did actually wear another one today which was like the huge ank from killstar so i definitely like huge chunky jewelry but i did want something kind of subtle to wear to work or maybe if i'm just like in the house for a necklace to put on that's not gonna like weigh me down <laughs> so yeah this was the last necklace that i bought and this one was 13 pounds 99 which i feel like is a good deal especially for like a sterling silver pendant as well
They also do have like bats and other ones that are available, not just around Halloween. And another reason why I did buy this is there was only 10 available, I think, like at that time. I think someone messaged me saying that the pumpkin had sold out or I'm not sure. But I did go and have a look and it did say that it was sold out. But when I looked on Curiology's Instagram account, they did say that they were restocking this. So maybe it's still kind of limited, but there basically will be a cutoff point to both of these items, if that makes sense. I saw that they said again on Instagram that you have like three weeks left to kind of buy them. So hopefully... I mean, this video will be going up on the 26th of October, so you should still have time to purchase some if you are interested. So my total was £26.98 and then shipping was £2.50, which I feel like is reasonable. And then it came to £29.48, which I feel like is a really good price for like one huge necklace and then one sterling silver necklace plus postage. I feel like that is a good deal. That was my curiology haul hopefully this video doesn't disappear <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this haul let me know if you've ordered from curiology before and if you've ordered anything from the halloween collection and what you did get if you did <laughs> like this video if you did enjoy it as i said comment down below and please consider subscribing if you like these types of videos i also do outfit of the days i did actually film one for this outfit because i'm wearing like a super shiny skirt from top shop which is amazing <laughs> and yeah i will see you in my next video bye